In this video, I'll show you how to set up a Skyhoi panel for camera shading. That is, handle iris, black level and color settings. We'll end up controlling two cameras from different brands and also integrate a video switcher to handle tally lights and camera routing. Let's have a look at the setup. Today we're using an RCP Pro, cameras from Sony and Canon, and an ATEM switcher. But these are just examples. It could be any Blue Pill product, such as the Colorfly, and it could be many other cameras and video switchers. You can see a full list of compatible devices on devices.skahoy.com. You'll find a link to this in the description. Please note, on the Sony FX6, I'm using a USB to Ethernet adapter to make it network based. Then I've connected Ethernet cables to a switch and set static IP addresses on all devices. I've also connected SDI cables from the cameras to the video switcher and from an output to a small monitor. So we are already hooked up. Here's what we need to do next. Open Reactor and create a new project. Add devices, choose configuration and configure tally and routing. OK, let's get started. Step 1. Open Reactor. We open a web browser and enter the IP address of the RCP Pro. Now we see Reactor, the configuration manager for Bluepill. I prefer to create new projects for my setups, so I'll click Manage Projects in the window top and click Create New Project. Name it and save it. Now we have a clean slate to work on. Step 2. Add devices. All devices we want to control must be added to the current project. In the right side of the screen, we click Add Device. By default, Reactor will auto-discover devices on your network if it's able to. But this is not available for the FX6, so I'll click Add Device manually. Here we can pick from the entire list of supported devices. I'll type in FX6 to filter the list and select the Sony FX6. When adding a device, you'll see the settings window. For this camera, we need to enter its IP address and password and click Save. After the device core has been installed, you'll see it as connected. The camera is now ready to be controlled. Let's add the next camera. Click Add Device, but this time we choose Discover Devices to find devices on our network. Select the CRN700. Since it was auto discovered, we already have the IP address, so we just click Save. And after the device core has been installed, you'll see it as connected. Now let's add our video switcher. Click Add Device, filter the list by typing ATEM, and select the 1ME constellation. In the settings window, we already see its IP address, so we just click Save and see it is connected. Wow, we now have three devices in our project. Please note, the device cores such as Sony, Canon, XC and ATEM are automatically downloaded from our server. For this to work, you must have internet access when adding new devices. If you're on a closed network, you can install them manually. This is shown in our How to Update Software video. Alright, let's move on. Step 3. Choose Configuration. We still need to assign commands to the button and knobs on the controller. A fast way to get started is by selecting one of our default configurations. They make it easy to manage devices by pre-populating commands on the panel. The default configuration, Generic Camera Control, is already selected in the menu. We could also choose another configuration or make our own from scratch. 
but we'll keep the generic camera control. This configuration has camera slots for easy setup of multiple cameras. Click the Add Camera button, click From Collection, and select the Sony FX6 camera. You see, the camera is instantly added to the panel, and we now have full control of iris and multiple pages of different parameters. All right, let's add the next camera. Click Add Camera and select the CRN700. It's added to the next camera select button on the panel, and now we have control of both cameras. Actually, in much the same way, even though they're from different brands. Also notice, the N700 is a PTC camera, and we can control its movement with the RCP Pro's built-in joypad. Ideal for small adjustments. Great! With full shading control up and running, many users would be done now. But we'll move on and integrate a video switcher. Step 4. Configure Tally and Routing. In many default configurations, it's possible to tweak settings directly on the home page. The current configuration is made for cameras, but also has easy video switcher integration using tally forwarding and routing trigger. Tally forwarding means listen to a switcher for program and preview, and based on this, light up buttons red and green on the panel and lamps on the cameras. So if you select Input 2 as program, the camera connected to Input 2 will have its lamp turned on letting people know that this camera is on air. The Skyhoy panel is in fact a tally format converter between video switches and cameras. All right, let's set it up. We have already added an ATEM to our project, so we just click the Add button and select the ATEM. Remember, we use an ATEM today but this could be vMix, TriCaster, Kairos, and others. Now we click Tally Forwarding to open the settings. Here we select what to listen for. In this case, it's ATEM Tally for Program and Preview. And we select ME Row 1. Finally, we click Camera Selector and enter to which switcher inputs the cameras are connected. Our small setup is easy. As tally index, we just enter 1 and 2. That's it. When changing program on the ATEM, we can now see the tally light on the RCP Pro and on the Canon camera. FX6 does not have a built in tally lamp. Routing trigger is next. This means when we select a camera on the RCP Pro, or hold down the preview button, we also send a command to the video switcher to route that camera to an output. This is super handy. Whenever we select it, the camera is automatically routed to the monitor in front of us. Let's do it now. We click Add to select the ATEM and click Routing Trigger to open the settings. Here we select how to route. We choose Route to Preview on ME Row 1. Finally, we click the camera selector, and just like we did with Tally, we link the cameras to the switcher inputs. In Route Index, we just enter 1 and 2. Now, when selecting cameras on the RCP Pro or holding down the Preview button, we also tell the ATEM to send the camera feed to the small monitor in front of us. That's so convenient. All right, we're done. Now you know how to do a basic shading setup and even integrate a video switcher. And it only took us minutes to do so. On top of this, you may want to add your own custom commands to the panel, which is of course doable. Please watch our other how-to videos on Reactor setup and configuration for this. 
Thank you for watching.